Welcome back to Face Off. Our guest tonight, Los Angeles Kings defenseman Mark Hardy. And uh, Mark, you mentioned you grew up in Montreal. And uh, in 1979, you get drafted by the Los Angeles Kings. Was it a disappointment that you weren't going to stay in the province of Quebec or even maybe in Toronto or somewhere in Canada to play? Well, like I said, I'd, I'd always grown up being a Montreal Canadiens fan, but uh, they were a dynasty back then when I was drafted, and they had, uh, you know, eight, nine, ten solid defensemen in their organization. So it ended up being a blessing uh, mm -hmm. for me to uh, to come to Los Angeles and, and play. I was uh, very fortunate to have a, a good coach that had a lot of faith in me, and that was Bob Barry, who gave me my first chance. And uh, it just turned out to be uh, the best thing for me. Now, I remember when uh, you joined the team, and uh, uh, a year later, some other young guys came in. Uh, uh, you had Jay Wells as a teammate, Jimmy Fox, Larry Murphy, uh, Steve Jensen. Uh, tell us about that group. Some wild days when all you guys were young or not? Well, you know, coming from Montreal, it was, uh, it was a little quiet back there. And uh, I guess being 20 years old and, and coming into the league and coming to Los Angeles, uh, we had some good times together. We had some, I thought, what I thought were some very good, uh, good hockey teams as well. Uh, when I came into the league, uh, my second year in the league, we uh, ended up fourth overall. Mm -hmm. And uh, as long as, as long as having a, a good hockey team, we did have a lot of good times together. And uh, it just goes to show you, you can have a great time when you're winning. You know, there have been uh, some players uh, in the past, and, and people have said. When you're 20 or 21 years old, uh, you have in your mind that this is going to last forever. You know, like the Stong said, these those were the days, my friend, we thought they'd never end. And uh, and some players have felt, uh, I can burn the candle at both ends. My career is going to last forever. Uh, were you one of those? Um, possibly at the beginning I was, yeah, when I was young. Uh, I think when you come into the game, you really don't know what to expect when you're 20 years old. And... Uh, you're 3,000 miles away from home. Uh, you're hanging out with mm -hmm. the guys, and and uh, you know, obviously, we're having some good times uh, on and off the ice. But uh, I think as you you get on in age, you realize that uh, the game's very, very important to you, and it becomes very important to you. And you have to settle down and really concentrate on on playing hockey. And you know, there are times during the season when you can have a good time, but you really realize uh, when to pick your spots, and, and uh, I've been able to do that. I think it was very evident to me that the, the time you came back to the Los Angeles Kings uh, for the second time around, and, and you'd been gone for a few years, uh, not to say that you weren't serious about your profession, but it seemed to me I noticed a real different attitude in Mark Hardy the, the second time you came to Los Angeles. Am I right? Well, I think when I went to New York... Uh, it was it was a big change for me. I was I was devastated when I was traded, mm -hmm. but I think it ended up again being probably the best thing that ever happened to Mark Hardy in Mark Hardy's career. I went to a team uh, that had very very good offensive defensemen, and and I had to change my game. Uh, my my role was changed, and uh, I learned how to win. And I think. Uh, I really, really enjoyed winning. I just, uh, I went to New York, we brought Mark Messier in there, mm -hmm. and I learned from him. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think as you uh, go along in this game, you, you run into people like that, and I realized the benefit of winning and, and how uh, great the feeling was. Did the trade shake you up to the point, and I'm not trying to read something into this that isn't there, but did the trade make you feel, I'd, maybe I'd better have a lifestyle change or something and get more serious about this game uh, if I'm going to survive, if I'm going to have a long career? Well, I think at the time I was, I had become a leader here. Uh -huh. And uh, when I did get traded to New York, um, it was just, I ran into to some people out there that uh, really changed my game and, mm -hmm. and uh, my thinking about it. It was... Uh, it was just such a, f a fun feeling to, to win. I didn't have to go anywhere else for yeah. for my pleasure. So right. uh, it was great. I got married, uh, go home to my wife, my beautiful children. And uh, I, I did a lot of growing up. And mm -hmm. uh, I very I've really think that I've matured from, from the trade. We've seen it before. And a, a lot of people say that uh, the marriage does change a player sometimes. Uh, you agree with that, I guess? Oh, definitely. Um, 
I was just so happy to go home uh -huh. and, and see my family and, and play with my children. Whereas maybe before when I was 20 years old, uh, we might have stopped off at a bar on the way home or yeah. something like that and for the camaraderie. And uh, I think it, that uh, my mental, my positive feelings towards the game now mm -hmm. have uh, really helped me towards that. My family's been uh, just a, a big, big help to me. Our guest on Faceoff tonight, Los Angeles King defenseman Mark Hardy. He's in his second stint in a Los Angeles King uniform, and we'll be back to talk more with Mark right after this.